Hello, this is a follow-up video to the video I made about gold digging. And in that video, I played a short clip, and at the end, I asked if you thought it was gold digging. And now I'm going to give my opinion on that. My opinion of the clip is that it's not gold digging in and of itself, because it's not saying that these women aren't actually falling in love with these men once they do choose them. It's just saying that money was the initial attraction. I don't really see a difference between that and a man who pursues an attractive woman. Just because her looks was the initial reason that he was attracted to her and if she didn't look that way perhaps he wouldn't have been pursuing her, it doesn't mean that's the only reason that he likes her. So if these white women are getting with these non-white men and they're willing to marry them and bear their children and live with them in holy matrimony and have a normal marriage like everybody else, then I don't think it's gold digging. I mean, who wouldn't want to have a well-to-do spouse? Having money isn't just associated with being able to buy a lot of stuff and have a nice life. It also correlates with intelligence, and that's also a good thing. Not to say that everybody who's rich is smart, but it definitely correlates. The order is in, so like many couples, Lorraine and Craig Blake are working hard to make ends meet. She sells a skincare line, he owns a timber business, and they recently started a horse farm. All of this, all at once, can put a strain on anyone's marriage. We were running different ways all the time. Pile on money issues and you're headed for trouble. Experts say financial trouble is the leading cause of divorce. Stress is hurt so hurtful even physically on ourselves, but also on the marriage. Stress and depression cause higher levels of the hormone cortisol. High levels for long periods can cause irrational fear that can be taken out on a spouse. Stress is also associated with cheating. Studies show men deal with stress through escapism and women deal with it by talking. The clip I just showed is a darn good reason why you better consider money when you're looking for somebody to marry. This all you need is love crap is crap. You need money too because even people who love each other can break up over money issues. Love does not put food on the table or gas in the car or keep the lights on. I mean who who feels like making love when you're worried about how are you going to pay the house note? Financial troubles can contribute to a tense home environment, which can make couples think that they've fallen out of love with, with each other when it's really that they're just under stress. And if they weren't under that stress, they would still be able to see that they love each other. The number one cause of divorce is financial issues. And it's not just not making enough money, it's knowing how to spend the money that you do make. So even if somebody makes $100,000 a year, if they end up broke at the end of every month, they're still not financially stable. Okay, now I'm going to switch gears a bit and make an observation about interracial relationships, specifically between blacks and whites. There have been discussions here on YouTube about why white male black female relationships last longer than black male white female relationships. Some people have said, well, society doesn't like to see a black man with a white woman, and that may be true, but I don't think that's really the reason why these relationships are breaking up. Because if that was the sole reason or the main reason, then that would kind of keep you from getting together in the first place. I mean, it's not like everything is peachy when you got together and all of a sudden you wake up one day and people are spitting at you as you walk down the street and calling you nigger and your wife nigger lover. It's not like society is saying, you know, I was okay with it in the beginning, but you know, I, I, I don't like it anymore. Let's start messing with them so they get a divorce. I haven't done any research on this, but looking at the evidence, I think it's reasonable to hypothesize that many of the black male white female relationships that end up in divorce probably have financial problems at the root. If you take celebrities out of the equation, white male black female households tend to be more affluent than the opposite sex race combination. And since white males on average earn more money than black males on average, then I think there's your answer right there. And what we would need to see in order for what I'm saying to be right is that um, if we broke down divorces by income, I think you would see less divorce in more affluent black male, white female households than middle class and lower class. If that's the case, then I think black male, white female relationships are primarily falling victim to financial difficulties. Well, that's it folks. Feel free to leave a comment or post a video response. I accept all video responses and my comment section is wide open. I only block people who are just being total idiots.